doing benefit concerts to help support the flood recovery efforts, like that big fish concert that was just underway in Essex Junction. That raised $1.2 million for flood victims. In addition to announcing the total raise, the band thanked major donors for underwriting the concert. All the money from ticket sales, merchandise, downloads, and webcast sales will be going to the Water Wheel Foundation and the Vermont Community Foundation. And Trey Anastasio will hold a flood relief benefit concert this Saturday, October 1st, at the Higher Ground Ballroom. Another one. And Grace Potter, of course, can look forward to a new song. She wrote it about the flooding from Irene. Potter is a Waitsfield native. Her community was hit hard when the Mad River flooded after the storm. Her song will appropriately be called The Mad, Mad River. She plans to sing it for the first time on October 9th, that's a week from Sunday, at her flood benefit concert at the Flynn, which is sold out, and she actually crashed her website, or fans, I should say, crashed her website trying to get those tickets for the benefit concert. So some really good things being done in the community, and I know George Mallet is over in uh, Moortown, and he's got more information about a benefit concert coming up in Killington. Right, George? That's right, Bridget. And a perfect segue to me because I'm talking about a, a benefit concert as well. I'm joined by Bobby Peterson. Uh, Bobby started a really a grassroots effort uh, to have a big benefit concert this Sunday. Tell me about what happened uh, on the 29th and how this all started to come together. The Killington area was actually very fortunate. We uh, we lost a lot of roads and. Um, you know, once those were back, we were open for business and ready to go. But the, the surrounding communities, they really suffered a lot more than we did in Killington. Actually, Joey Leone, one of our uh, legendary uh, local musicians, he, uh, right after the storm, he said, you know, we need to help. We, we need to get people involved and mobilize and, and start to help our own and, and get the locals involved. So all of his musical friends, all of his, his you know, talented musicians, talented bands, they, they couldn't have been quicker to jump on board and get involved. It is going to be an amazing concert. We have 15 different acts, Joey Leone, the Tony Lee Thomas Band, both they are in the perfect train wreck, Rick Reddington and The Love. Those are just some of the bigger local names that people would know. But we have over 15 acts that are going to be at this show. All of the proceeds from this show are going to go to two charities, uh, We Are K-Town and the Pittsfield Release Fund, and those proceeds are going to be put back into the local community for people who need a hand, just getting things rebuilt and, and getting their lives started again. And, and we should point out, if you're interested in going to this concert, tickets are going to be $20 a piece, uh, and you're hoping to get uh, several hundred people there at least. We're, we're hoping to, to raise, you know, between ten dollars and $12,000 on the door. It's, you know, it's going to really have a big block party feel. Both the Lookout Tavern and the Outback Pizza in Killington have, uh, have agreed to host the event. And uh, we have an outside stage as well as two indoor stages, so there's going to be no shortage of music. All the local restaurants have donated food, so your $20 is also going to include a, uh, a gourmet meal. We have T-shirts for sale to commemorate the event. The community involvement and the local businesses and restaurants and inns and hotels, they could not have been more supportive. It has just been uh, it was a terrible experience to go through, but but what's happened since has been uh, has been ins inspirational to say the least. That's Bobby Peterson uh, talking about grace under pressure. I think is a good way to sum it up. Huh? Absolutely. Please come and see us on Sunday at, uh, in Killington. It's going to be a great show. It's the concert for the Killington area. You can see us online at theconcertforthekillingtonarea.org for much more information. And that's Bobby Peterson again. Uh, I think that pretty much sums it up. And on that note, I'm going to toss it back to Heather in the studio with more of the day's news. Hey, Heather. Now, give Brown and your Weather Plus forecast. It's so great that everyone's going out and supporting it, it, all of these efforts fantastic. and the concerts. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to propose something. You know, a year after Irene, okay, let's have this huge Champlain Valley party. <laughs> and I mean, just the biggest party we've ever had in the Champlain Valley. Let's do Is it. Is it going to be a fundraiser? <laughs>